A delegation of Tibetan exiles has been lobbying Australian parliamentarians today to address what they consider to be an escalating crisis in Tibet. Their campaign follows more incidents of self-immolations in protest against China's rule over the region. Girish Solani reports from Canberra. For many of these exiled Tibetans, the prospect of returning to their homeland is a distant one. But that hasn't stopped them from lobbying against Chinese rule in the troubled region. We have been telling, uh, asking our parliamentarians to um, you know, ask the Australian government to raise the issue publicly and to send an Australian fact-finding delegation um, and to elevate the issue of Tibet uh, to greater prominence. Efforts to lobby Australian politicians follow concerns by advocacy groups over the gradual erosion of Tibetan culture and religious repression, allegedly at the hands of Chinese authorities. That was the message conveyed to the Australian Parliament. On behalf of the Parliamentary Friendship Group for Tibet and my constituents in Fremantle, may I say how concerned we are about the deepening crisis in Tibet, which has seen around 30 Tibetans setting themselves on fire in acts of protest since 2009. The most recent incident took place in China's Sichuan province when a young Tibetan monk set himself alight before security forces extinguished the flames and took him away. The Australian government says it's appalled by the incidents and says its embassy in Beijing has raised the matter with the Chinese government, but Canberra is at odds with calls for an independent Tibet. Any suggestion, however, of independence for Tibet conflicts with the position taken by every Australian government since December 1972, when Australia recognised China's sovereignty over Tibet with the establishment of diplomatic relations. The Chinese government has described those who set themselves on fire as terrorists and is blaming exiled Tibetans for stoking anti-China protests. Beijing has also defended its position in Tibet, saying its rule has brought much-needed development. Giris Salvani, ABC News, Canberra.